Welcome to my channel, where we bring you the latest and greatest in scientific discoveries. Today, we have a truly groundbreaking revelation to share with you. The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, has just unveiled a hidden galaxy at the edge of the universe. Join us as we dive into the details of this extraordinary finding. Before we delve into the hidden galaxy, let's briefly talk about the incredible technology that made this discovery possible, the James Webb Space Telescope. Launched into space just a few years ago, the JWST is the most powerful telescope ever built, equipped with cutting-edge instruments capable of peering deep into the cosmos. The JWST's primary mission is to explore the universe's distant past, allowing us to observe galaxies formed shortly after the Big Bang. Today, we're thrilled to share the telescope's latest triumph, the unveiling of a galaxy hidden at the edge of the universe. Now, let's get into the nitty-gritty of this incredible discovery. Astronomers using the JWST detected an enigmatic glow in the far reaches of space. Initial observations hinted at the presence of a galaxy obscured by cosmic dust and gas, making it nearly invisible to other telescopes. The excitement grew as scientists speculated about the nature of this hidden galaxy. Could it be a relic from the early universe, preserving secrets of cosmic evolution? To unveil the secrets concealed within this distant galaxy, scientists used the JWST's powerful infrared capabilities. Unlike visible light, infrared light can penetrate cosmic dust, allowing astronomers to peer through the cosmic fog that shrouded this hidden celestial object. The results were nothing short of extraordinary. The JWST revealed a vibrant and active galaxy, teeming with star formation. This discovery challenges our understanding of galaxy evolution and provides a unique glimpse into the universe's formative years. But why is this discovery so significant? What does it tell us about the universe's history and our place in it? Astronomer 1, this hidden galaxy represents a cosmic time capsule. By studying its characteristics and composition, we can learn more about the processes that shaped the early universe. Astronomer 2, it's like finding a missing puzzle piece. This discovery will undoubtedly contribute to our broader understanding of galaxy formation and evolution. The JWST's revelation of this hidden galaxy is just the beginning. As the telescope continues its mission, we can expect more groundbreaking discoveries that will reshape our understanding of the cosmos. From probing the atmospheres of exoplanets to unlocking the mysteries of dark matter, the James Webb Space Telescope is poised to be a beacon of discovery for years to come. If you gaze at this area of the sky with the Hubble Space Telescope, all you will see is darkness. However, if you look at the same spot with the James Webb Space Telescope, you will see a faint red light that exposes a hidden, dusty galaxy that resembles a ghost. In this video, we will explore the significance of this discovery and explain why it is so important. We will also address some of the questions raised by this discovery, such as how this galaxy formed and grew, why it is so dusty and red, and what will happen to it in the future. This galaxy is one of the most distant and mysterious galaxies ever discovered, and it holds important clues about the evolution of the universe. To determine what kind of galaxy Aztec E71 is and how it stacks up against other galaxies in the universe, we must first determine a few of its characteristics, like its mass. The color and red shift in luminosity have the capacity to measure these characteristics and can reveal a great deal about the galaxy's past environment. Using James Webb's near-infrared camera, which can take pictures of the sky at various light wavelengths, astronomers can determine the galaxy's composition, temperature, and distance by comparing its brightness with various filters. One of the primary methods for studying galaxies is a technique known as photometry. The photometry results indicated that this galaxy is massive and luminous, with a mass of approximately 50 billion times that of the sun and a luminosity of approximately 500 trillion times that of the sun. These values are comparable to some of the universe's most extreme dust-obscured galaxies, which are also known as submillimeter galaxies because the majority of their light is emitted in the sub-wavelength range. 
The photometry also showed that it is very far away from us, with a red shift of about 5.7. This means that the light we see from the galaxy was emitted when the universe was only about 1 billion years old, or about 7% of its current age. This also means that the galaxy is very red because its light has been stretched by the expansion of the universe. In fact, this galaxy is one of the reddest galaxies in the Cosmos Web Survey, which is a large-scale survey of galaxies in the Cosmos field, a region of the sky that covers about 2 square kilometers, or about 10 times the size of the full moon. The photometry also revealed that this galaxy is very faint in the optical and near-infrared wavelengths, which are the wavelengths that Hubble and other optical telescopes can observe. This means that the galaxy is very dusty and that most of its light is blocked by the dust grains in its interstellar medium. The dust grains absorb the light from the stars and re-emit it in the far infrared and submillimeter wavelengths, which are the wavelengths that SCUBA 2 and ALMA can observe. These are the telescopes that first detected it, but they could not resolve its shape or measure its red shift. However, James Webb was able to detect the rest of the frame. The galaxy's optical light, or the light it releases in the visible spectrum before being redshifted by the universe, can reveal important details about the galaxy's stellar characteristics, including its age, metallicity, and pace of star formation. Aztec C71 is a very rare and interesting galaxy that challenges our understanding of galaxy evolution. One of the most puzzling aspects of this galaxy is why it was invisible to optical telescopes and how it was detected by submillimeter and far infrared telescopes. Webb's NIRAM was able to accomplish this because it has a much higher sensitivity and resolution than Hubble and other optical telescopes and because it can observe at longer wavelengths that can penetrate the dust better. To answer this question, we must comprehend the physical processes that cause this galaxy to appear so red and dusty and how they impact its appearance at different light wavelengths. The primary cause of this galaxy's extreme redness and dustiness is that it is going through a very intense star formation episode, also referred to as a star burst. A starburst occurs when a galaxy forms stars at a rate that is significantly faster than usual, up to hundreds or thousands of times faster than usual. It can be caused by a variety of factors, including mergers, gas secretion, or feedback. It can also have a variety of effects, including driving outflows that enrich the interstellar medium or quenching star formation. A large number of young, massive, bright, and hot stars are being produced by this galaxy's star burst. These stars emit a lot of optical and ultraviolet light, which is visible to Hubble and other optical telescopes. However, this light is also very energetic and has the ability to ionize and heat up the gas and dust surrounding the stars. As a result, the gas and dust form a thick layer of clouds that surround the galaxy and act as a shield that blocks the light from the stars, which is why the galaxy is hidden from optical telescopes. In addition to obstructing the light from the stars, the gas and dust clouds also absorb and re-emit light in the far infrared and submillimeter wavelengths that SCUBA 2 and ALMA can observe. These wavelengths are longer and cooler than the ultraviolet and optical wavelengths, and they can escape the clouds more easily, which is why the galaxy can be seen through these telescopes. The expansion of the universe also has an impact on the gas and dust clouds. This galaxy is very red because it is very far away from us, and the universe has stretched its light. These processes combined make S71 a very special and extreme galaxy that is very difficult to detect and music study. So let's see how this galaxy formed and grew, and how it compares and contrasts with other types of galaxies in the universe. The universe is not St. I.C., rather, it is constantly growing and stretching. A merger can cause a star to burst because it can compress the gas and dust in the galaxies and cause them to collapse into new stars. A merger can also create a lot of dust because it can destroy the old stars and release their metals into the interstellar medium. Finally, it can explain why this galaxy is so massive and luminous by increasing the mass and luminosity of the galaxy by adding the mass and luminosity of the merging galaxies. 
One possible explanation for this phenomenon is that it is the result of a merger between two or more smaller galaxies. Another explanation for how this galaxy originated and expanded is that gas from the intergalactic medium leaked out. A galaxy will naturally draw and absorb gas from the interstellar medium. This process, known as gas secretion, can also lead to a starburst by giving the galaxy additional fuel to produce new stars. Additionally, it can produce a great deal of dust because it can either form dust from the metals produced by the new stars or bring in dust from the intergalactic medium. This can also explain why the galaxy is so massive and bright because it can increase the mass and luminosity of the galaxy by adding the mass and luminosity of the accreted gas. And there you have it, folks, the James Webb Space Telescope's astonishing discovery of a hidden galaxy at the edge of the universe. Join us next time as we continue to explore the wonders of our cosmos. Until then, keep looking up at the stars. If you found this video entertaining and thought it taught you anything new and interesting, please hit the like button. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below, and we will do our best to respond. See you soon.